would say the new generative AI is an enemy and uh, an ally at the same time. An, an enemy in the sense that it facilitates the attacks, uh, uh, creating fraudulent phishing attacks, creating fraudulent websites, these kind of things, because it facilitates the, the work of the, ha uh, the hackers. And uh, an ally in the sense that it helps us also you know, to prevent this fraud and to anticipate to be more predictive in our approach. So AI is definitely uh, something very important when it comes to identity check because if you try to check and to analyze a document, an identity based on a document could be a passport, driving license or identity, governmental identity document, you need to have the right level of accuracy to really detect a fraudulent document, extract on an easy way uh, the, the, the data from this document and having the ability to double check this, this document. That's the first part of the identification on the document based, but also we need to check what we call the liveness detection and make sure that the, the person who is presenting this document is a real person. And this is where AI can help us, you know, to match on more than 200 points of control the face, the selfie we can capture or the video we can capture and to match it with the, the image uh, extracted from the document. In fraud detection, AI can facilitate what we call detection of suspicious activity. So suspicious activity could be like based on document analysis, but also on behavioral biometric, for instance. The way you are using the device, the way you are interacting with the system can give us like some trigger, some, some data that we could analyze in the future to be able to detect these suspicious activities. The goal is not to block or to, to launch a warning based on these suspicious activities, but maybe sometimes, you know, we can leverage like what we call a smart workflow and adding another point of control in case of detection, in case of suspicious activity that can help us, you know, to prevent this potential fraud because we never 100% sure that it's going to be a fraud. You can detect, as I said, suspicious activity and then after you need to move forward in the transaction to make sure that it's really a suspicious one and it's a fraud or not. So that, that's a crucial uh, dilemma, we'll say, uh, uh, in our own, um, business. It's really, I mean, finding this right balance. Uh, if you talk to the legal department, they're going to ask you for the high level of security uh, without you know, taking into consideration the user experience. The user experience has a direct impact on the business as well. So if you are talking to someone who is in the business side of the company, he's going to tell you, no, no, I want the best user experience. I want to make it as smooth as possible. So the goal here is first to find the right balance. Secondly, to try to, to, to detect this fraud or this suspicious activity behind the scene. new to say that the, the fraud is increasing dramatically right now and impacting massively all the companies. We are talking about billion of dollars or euro right now, uh, the amount lost by those companies based on fraud and, 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 and cyber attack. We need to leverage AI to prevent this fraud in the sense of getting more data and being able to uh, having a predictive model based on this data to analyze a potential fraud. Uh, again, the, the, the most of the mistakes done when it comes to fraud analysis or fraud detection is to make sure, okay, I'm 80% sure that it's going to be a fraud, but I'm not 100% sure that it's going to be a fraud. So AI, you know, can help us, you know, to leverage this 20% and why not, you know, just adjust also the customer journey, journey accordingly. And that's a big, uh, a, a, a big game changer when it comes to transaction. There is two ways to approach uh, the fraud prevention. Uh, you can be reactive, so react based on some data, some signal you get from the system, about, from document analysis, from behavioral biometric, uh, and reacting, blocking a transaction or adding another layer of security. Or, uh, and that's the future of AI, is to be more proactive. So it means that we could, in the future, anticipate a potential fraud because based on all the data we collect not during a transaction but based on million and million transactions 
we can anticipate and be proactive on certain use cases that or certain um, transactions that could be more suspicious than others. Depending on the device you are using, is it a secure device, is it a known device, are you a known person of, of the company, or the geolocation, the way you are using the device, I mean multiple factors that can prevent this fraud. And we really do think in the fraud detection that AI, that's going to be the future of AI and this is where we need to improve and we already try to anticipate that move.